There has been no shortage of special effects methods to bring giant monsters to life over the decades. To me, one such colossal creature stands above all the rest. King Kong. Through 1933's stop-motion animation, 1976's Man in Suit, and 2005's motion capture CGI, each of King Kong's techniques brings its own sense of wonder to the screen. Willis O'Brien's stop-motion creature is a true milestone in visual effects. Not as concerned with creating a true-to-life animal as later renditions, this puppet is arguably the most expressive of the apes. Kong is limited only by the armature itself and the animator's imagination. Rick Baker in a suit moves with great passion, interacting with his environment in real time, rather than being animated frame by frame. Three different mechanical heads were built for the production to compensate for the restricted range of emotion that can plague foam rubber masks. Delivering the most realistic ape of the trio, motion capture technology allowed Andy Serkis to not only portray the beast's physical presence, but also translate the actor's facial expressions into Kong's, no matter how subtle. Whether crafted by hand or computers, with animation or mechanics, each generation's effects technicians have given care to the emotions expressed by Kong's face. The King is not just a special effect, he is a fully developed character. No matter what new techniques are developed throughout the years, it is the care given to this creature's personality that will prevent his story from ever aging. Oh no. It wasn't the airplanes. It was beauty killed the beast. Beauty killed the beast.